Hi, I'm Colin from Spaceflight Made Simple, and today I wanted to bring you guys a quick video about tomorrow's Space Launch System launch with the Artemis 1 mission, the first mission of the Artemis program, to send Orion to orbit the moon. The Space Launch System will be sending an unmanned Orion spacecraft around the moon to test its onboard systems. This mission will launch from Launch Complex 39B at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. T0 for this mission is 2.17 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, September 3rd, 2022. Artemis 1 will begin about 6 seconds before T0 when the four RS-25 main engines on the core stage of the Space Launch System are ignited, and at T0 the two solid rocket boosters will roar to life and the rocket will lift off the pad. A little over 2 minutes into flight, the two solid rocket boosters will have expended all their fuel and they will be jettisoned in a way very similar to the way the solid rocket boosters separated from the space shuttle. Meanwhile, the Artemis 1 mission will continue uphill under the thrust of the four RS-25 main engines on the core stage. A few minutes after the solid rocket boosters have separated, the launch abort system, which will no longer be needed at this point, will be jettisoned from the vehicle. And shortly after the launch abort system is jettisoned, the fairings protecting the service module will also be separated. Just shy of nine minutes after launch, the core stage will have expended all of its fuel and it will be separated from the vehicle, leaving the Interim Cryogenic Propulsion Stage, or ICPS, to finish the job of putting Artemis 1 into a preliminary orbit. Once a stable orbit is achieved, the solar panels on the European service module will be deployed to generate power, and after a few orbits, the RL-10 engine on the Interim Cryogenic Propulsion Stage will be reignited to boost the Artemis mission through its translunar injection burn and put it on its way to the moon. Following this, the Orion spacecraft will separate from the Interim Cryogenic Propulsion Stage, and it's on its way to lunar space. When it arrives at the moon, the Orion spacecraft will carry out several high-altitude elliptical orbits around the moon before returning home. The objective of these orbits is to test the systems on board the Orion spacecraft and make sure it's ready for a human crew to fly on Artemis II. Following the completion of their lunar orbits, the Orion spacecraft will begin making its way back to Earth, and as it approaches the Earth, the service module will be separated from the spacecraft, and the Orion capsule will begin the fiery process of re-entering Earth's atmosphere. After it's passed through the plasma blackout, the period of time in which radio communication with the spacecraft is nearly impossible, the spacecraft will use the Earth's atmosphere to slow itself down enough to deploy a set of drogue chutes. This will further slow the vehicle down and prepare it for the deployment of the three main parachutes that will ultimately see the Orion spacecraft splash down safely in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of California roughly 26 days after launch. I shouldn't have to go over the importance or objectives of this flight, since they're pretty self-explanatory. It's a basic test flight, testing all the systems on board the Orion spacecraft and the space launch system to make sure they're ready to fly humans to space as early as 2024. If you'd like to keep up to date with the Artemis 1 mission, I'll leave some links down below that can help you with that. First off, I'll leave a link to NASA's YouTube channel where I'll be live streaming basically every major event throughout this flight. And I'll also leave a link to my Twitter where I'll post up-to-date information on the Artemis 1 mission as well as other upcoming events in spaceflight. And if you have any questions about Space Launch System, Artemis, or Orion, leave them down below in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them there. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Spaceflight Made Simple, I'm Colin, and I will see you next time.